On today's episode, you join me for an outing to a location that I've visited many times before. However, today I was meeting up with another Irish photographer, the very talented Mark Fletcher. Now Mark had travelled down to visit this location, and of course, I had to come and show him around, as it was first time visiting, and it's always good to meet up with him anyway. Today though, I decided to take a different approach to photographing this spot, and rather than taking the wide angle view, I opted to only use my 70 to 200 and see what smaller scenes I could pick out from the bigger vista. Now this approach I find is one that will push you to look at the subject with different eyes and you can also result in an image that doesn't resemble the more known overall scene. The challenge though is to stop, look around you more, slow down and look through the lens for the normally hidden compositions that await. The flow was going to be very good today and the short walk up to the waterfall was going to be a muddy and slippery one. However, the journey to this destination can also be as good as the waterfall itself. Plus, we have a very interesting visitor towards the end. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me at a location I've been to a number of times before. It's Mullinhassock Wood in Mullinhassock Falls. And as you can see here behind me, it's in fantastic flow. Now, what I'm going to do today is do something different because I've photographed this on many times before. So I have my long lens on the camera here and I'm only going to use the long lens and I'm going to zoom in and pick out small little intimate details of the waterfall. I'm also going to try my filters as well and slow down that speed to get the optimum speed. I'm probably going for maybe half a second, a quarter a second, I might go for some longer ones as well. But within this waterfall, I do think there's going to be a number of different shots that I can get. And there's a great spray as well coming off it. So when the uh, water's there and getting hit by the light, I think it'll actually really jump. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. It's been interesting actually now to take a couple of shots here with the long lens because what I've done is I've picked out a couple of areas and I've actually decided to split the frame in two 
So I've got the water coming down on one side with some very interesting rocks on the other side. I did that on both sides of the waterfall. And then in the center of the waterfall as well, there's this one prominent rock and you've got two flows that come either side of that. And right on the top of that, you've got some ferns. So what I've done is I've moved around with that and then also I've given myself an opportunity to go into portrait to be able to have a nice bit of depth because there's a railing that's at the very top on a walkway that goes above this as well and it's quite interesting also to be able to get that type of shot. So yeah, it's been interesting so far. I've played around as well also with a couple of interesting and different uh, shutter speeds. Probably around about maybe a quarter of a second is my preferred to a half a second. Anything longer in the water then just completely becomes smooth so you don't get any texture within the water. Didn't get any light, which is what I'm hoping for. I don't know, fingers crossed, there might be a chance, but there's a high ridge behind me here, and I may not get any light now that will reach it, even if it does break through in the clouds. But nonetheless, always interesting to play around and use the long lens for different purposes. That was a very interesting afternoon here in Mullenhassig. I got some lovely shots, I do think, and I got a nice surprise bonus as well. There was a young guy came along here who decided to go for a swim in this, and I got a couple of shots as well of him going in. Brave man to be able to do that in this cold water. But it was really interesting to be able to take the shots here and only, as I said, use the long lens. I think I managed to get a couple of nice shots anyway from it. I'm going to finish up this episode now. Hope you've learned something from it and that you do come to a waterfall with your long lens. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Shlanga Fall.